Well, Women Out ASU Women as Assistant Manager Nick Dawes, how important was it to get the deal for Julian LeMay done and what does he bring to the squad? Yeah, I think it was really important. Um, what does he bring? I think he brings he brings some variety. I think what we've found um, over the course of the season, obviously um, Dylan's, uh, Dylan's on loan at, uh, at, um, at Bradford. Um, when we changed the system a little bit on sec- in the second half on Tuesday night against, uh, against Burton and went 3-4-3, it probably made us think that we wanted a more adaptable player. Um, Julian certainly brings that. Um, he's an incredible talent. Um, he's a little bit of place today in training. Caused one or two of the young fullbacks a few problems or two, so they've been joking about it in there. Um, and, and fundamentally, I think he fits into what an AFC Wimbledon player should look like, and that's giving 100%. Um, certainly gives that. Um, I think the benefit of it for me is I know the guys up at Rotherham. Um, spoke to John Brecken, who I've known for years, who was my assistant manager many, many moons ago, and and he's um, he's back there in a, a consultancy role. And I spoke to Paul Warren, spoke to Rob Scott, both who I played with, uh, and they both told us we were getting a player that you've probably got to keep the reins on. He'll give you one hundred and fifty percent, and you've got to make sure that he he doesn't overdo it a little bit. Um, so we've seen that today. Um, he's had some flashes of, of, of appearances at, uh, at Rotherham and, and done well and got those guys excited, uh, but needed game time. And obviously they're in a different position to us. They've got a really strong squad at the top of the league and, um, and Julian wouldn't really play for them. So it was an opportunity for us to take him and, uh, and bring some variety to the, uh, to the squad. As Glenn's already alluded to, he can play in the wide areas, which gives us flexibility and also play off a striker. Um, uh, I think there are some clips on online of his shooting ability. Um, so I think a few of them hit the crossbar. Got to make sure they just drop underneath the crossbar when he gets his opportunity. But uh, no, good, really good, really good boy. Uh, really enthusiastic. Uh, like I said, he, he, he to me just fits in with what our ethos should be, and um, you know he's he'll give us that little bit of quality in the final third. And he's been settling in well. They've made him feel welcome already into the group. Yeah, massively. Um, we came uh, we came back down um, last night, myself and and Glenn, and um, we were staying at the uh, staying at the hotel and um, met the manager and um, and uh, and had a chat with him. Came in this morning, shaking everybody's hand. Um, really keen, to, really keen to do well. Got a great desire, great enthusiasm for the game. So. Yeah, I think it's um, that's a really exciting sign. What was the week like for you leading up to that? Because we saw you walking around most of the times with the phone attached to your ear. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was a it was a tough week. Um, I think I could write a book on, uh, you know, some of the things that we we nearly got done. Um, you know, a couple of exciting opportunities that just didn't work out, and um, it's difficult. Um, everybody's, you know, especially when you're looking for for forward players. Everybody's looking for forward players, everybody's looking for the same player fundamentally, you know, so to get that decision off um, off, uh, off an agent or off a club is, um, is, is sometimes really difficult because they're waiting for, um, they're waiting for one of their own players to leave the building or waiting for another player to come in and um, there's, certainly a, uh, there's certainly one deal in particular that, that would have happened if, uh, if, um, if a player had arrived at, at the other club. Um, so January is a nightmare. Uh, it's really difficult, um, but primarily with 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 forward players, um, that's that's the toughest one because everybody's looking for them at this stage. And you've spoken about there about getting a Wimbledon player and getting the right fit, the right kind of player. As the manager has said, that's that's what you've been looking for, and you've, you've got an eye on the summer as well now, yeah. Yeah, I think we've been consistent all along. We've we've obviously had um, you know we've obviously lost Marcus and we've lost Michael for Levy. Michael's not really played a great deal of football for us, so in many ways it, it's 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 Michael that it's it's Marcus. Sorry that that we've lost, but but Joe's been brilliant since Marcus left, and and he's uh, and he's scoring the goals for us now. Quasi's not far away. Uh, Adam uh, Adam Rusrow's back on the grass and he's training and he's playing, and also uh, Mitch Pinnock's done really well up there. Um, so when you look at it and you you kind of assess the group and how great a group it is to work with, um, how much they're committed to everything about this club, and it's probably an overused sort of story around how our club is is a special club. Um, I knew it up until um, October the whatever it was twentieth that I came in. I know it even more now, and I see how the group works. Um, 
So if we were to bring in a player just for the sake of it, um, would have been wrong. Um, but also, alluding to Glenn's statement about the fact that there are so many supporters, um, so many, um, so many people connected with the club that are putting their hard-earned money, you know, into supporting the development of the new stadium. Um, exactly that, the two things going together, it would be it would be wrong to um, to go down a route if we weren't one hundred percent sure. Um, and that's not looking to to the past, um, and 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 perhaps some things that have happened before, but. Um, I think we feel we've got a really good group here and a group capable of doing well and can continuing to perform. And I think from um, from you know from the time where Glenn's come in initially as caretaker and since then, we've proved that to be the case. So I guess it's you know why uh, why try and fix something that's not really broken. Of course, we want you know more points on the board. We want to be higher up the league, but. I think on average the number of points we've taken in the last um, whatever it is, eighteen games is is testament to the group of players that we've got. Good to hear, thanks very much indeed, Nick. You're welcome.